PIC 32 MX microcontroller family by Microchip. Welcome to the training module on PIC 32 MX microcontroller family. This module explains the PIC 32 MX family architecture and the operation of its peripheral modules. Building on Microchip's 8 and 16-bit PIC microcontrollers, the PIC32 MCU family delivers 32-bit performance with more memory to solve increasingly complex embedded designs. It offers 80-plus DMIPS performance with a wide variety of on-chip peripherals. It employs industry-leading M4K MIPS32 core from MIPS Technologies, Inc. The PIC32 family uses a programming interface similar to other microchip PIC microcontrollers. Additionally, PIC32 microcontrollers are pin-to-pin -pin compatible with the PIC24FJ12AGA family of 16-bit microcontrollers. The PIC32 family is supported by microchip's MLAB development environment and other popular tools and software providers. The PIC32 family includes scalable devices ranging from 32K up to 512K of flash memory. It also possesses a set of peripherals ranging from 5 timers, 16 channels of 10-bit A to D converters, and communication interfaces like SPI, I2C, and UART. This microchip product family has undergone many performance improvements while maintaining the PIC microcontroller's ease of use and compatibility. The PIC32 products are pin, peripheral, and software compatible with the microchip 16-bit PIC MCU families and across the PIC32 MCU family line. Here is a simplified view of the PIC32 chip. The PIC32 MX architecture has been broken down into four functional blocks which are the MCU core, system memory, system integration, and peripherals. The PIC32 employs the M4K 32-bit core from MIPS Technologies Inc. The core connects to the rest of the modules via bus matrix or a high-speed switch. The PIC32 MX also uses a 128-bit wide flash memory. To further enhance its performance, the PIC32 employs a 128-bit prefetch cache module to prefetch the next 128 bits of instructions. These prefetch instructions are stored in an on-chip cache memory. The PIC32 MX devices also have many peripherals that allow them to interface with the external world. As I mentioned earlier, the PIC32 MX employs the M4K core. The M4K core is a 32-bit low-power RISC processor core with the enhanced MIPS32 instruction set architecture. The M4K core uses a five-stage execution pipeline. This means that each instruction is executed in five different stages. Once the pipeline is full, the M4K core executes one instruction per CPU clock. The PIC32 uses the high-performance version of the Multiply and Divide hardware module. A powerful feature of this module is that it contains its own autonomous pipeline. As a result, once the CPU issues a Multiply or Divide instruction, the CPU may continue to fetch and execute next instructions while the multiply and divide unit performs calculations in parallel. By default, the PIC32 executes 32-bit instructions. The PIC32 MX microcontrollers provide 4 GB of unified virtual memory address space. All memory regions including program, data memory, SFRs, and configuration registers reside in this address space at their respective unique addresses. The program and data memories can be optionally partitioned 
into user and kennel memories. In addition, the data memory can be made executable, allowing the PIC32MX to execute from data memory. The PIC32MX Direct Memory Access or DMA controller is a bus master module useful for data transfers between different devices without the CPU's intervention. The source and destination of a DMA transfer can be any of the memory mapper modules existent in the PIC32MX. Examples of these include the peripheral bus, such as SPI, UART, I2C, etc. The PIC32MX internal device reset signal is system reset and can be generated from multiple reset sources, such as power on reset, brown out reset, master clear reset, watchdog timeout reset, software reset, configuration mismatch reset. A reset source sets a corresponding status bit in the recon register to indicate the type of reset. A power on event generates an internal power on reset pulse when a VDD rise is detected above power on reset voltage. Whenever the master clear reset pin is driven low, the device asynchronously sets system reset provided the input pulse on master clear reset is longer than a certain minimum width. A watchdog timeout causes the device reset or system reset to be asserted asynchronously. The interrupt controller is designed to receive up to 96 interrupt requests from the processor core and from on-chip peripherals capable of generating interrupts. All interrupt requests are sampled on the Ryzen edge of the system clock and latched in associated registers. A pending interrupt request is indicated by the flag bit being equal to 1 in the register. The pending interrupt request will not cause further processing if the corresponding bit in the interrupt enabled register is clear. If the interrupt is enabled, all interrupt requests are encoded into a 5-bit wide vector number. The 5-bit vector results in 0 to 63 unique interrupt vector numbers. The interrupt controller selects the interrupt request with the highest priority among all pending requests and presents the associated vector number, priority level, and shadow set number to the processor core. This slide describes the PIC32 MX family oscillator system and its operation. The oscillator system has the following modules and features. Four external and internal oscillator options as clock sources. An on-chip PLL with user-selectable input divider, multiplier, and output divider to boost operating frequency on select internal and external oscillator sources. An on-chip user-selectable divisor post-scalar on select oscillator sources. Software controllable switching between various clock sources and finally, a fail-safe clock monitor that detects clock failure and permits safe application recovery or shutdown. The general purpose I.O. pins can be considered the simplest of peripherals. They allow the PIC MCU to monitor and control other devices. To add flexibility and functionality, some pins are multiplexed with alternate functions. These functions depend on which peripheral features are on the device. In general, when a peripheral is functioning, the corresponding pin may not be used as a general purpose I.O. pin. Some of the key features to take note of include individual output pin open drain enable or disable, individual input pin weak pull up enable or disable, monitor selective inputs and generate interrupt when change in pin state is detected, operation during CPU sleep and idle modes, fast bit manipulation using clear, set, and registers. 
This family of PIC32 MX devices features one synchronous and asynchronous 16-bit timer that can operate as a free-running interval timer for various timing applications and counting external events. This timer can also be used with Low Power Secondary Oscillator SOSC for real-time clock applications. The following modes are supported. Synchronous Internal Timer Synchronous Internal Gated Timer Synchronous External Timer and Asynchronous External Timer. Timer 1 can generate an interrupt on a period match event or a gate event caused by the falling edge of the external gate signal. It also features four synchronous 16-bit timers that can operate as a free-running interval timer for various timing applications. Two 32-bit synchronous timers are available by combining timer 2 with timer 3 and timer 4 with timer 5. The Universal Serial Bus or USB module contains analog and digital components to provide a USB 2.0 full speed and low speed embedded host full speed device or USB on the go implementation with minimal external components. This module in host mode is intended for use as an embedded host and therefore does not implement a UHCI or OHCI controller. The USB module consists of the clock generator, the USB voltage comparators, the transceiver, the serial interface engine, a dedicated USB DMA controller, pull up and pull down resistors, and the register interface. The clock generator provides the 48 megahertz clock required for USB full speed and low speed communication. The serial interface engine is a state machine that transfers data to and from the endpoint buffers and generates the hardware protocol for data transfers. The USB DMA controller transfers data between the data buffers in RAM and serial interface engine. The input capture module is useful in applications requiring frequency and pulse measurement. The PIC32MX3XX or 4XX devices support up to five input capture channels. The input capture module captures the 16-bit or 32-bit value of the selected time-based registers when an event occurs at the input capture pin. Each input capture channel can select between one of two 16-bit timers, i.e. timer 2 or timer 3, for the time base. It can also select both 16-bit timers, that is timers 2 and 3, together to form a 32-bit timer. The selected timer can use either an internal or external clock. The output compare module is useful to generate a single pulse or a train of pulses in response to selected time-based events. For all modes of operation, the output compare module compares the value stored in the output compare register to the value in the selected timer. When a match occurs, the output compare module generates an event based on the selected mode of operation. The Serial Peripheral Interface or SPI module is a synchronous serial interface useful for communicating with external peripherals and other microcontroller devices. These peripheral devices may be serial double E proms, shift registers, display drivers, A to D converters, etc. The PIC32 MX SPI module is compatible with Motorola SPI and PSYOP interfaces. The I2C module provides complete hardware support for both slave and multi-master modes of the I2C serial communication standard. The PIC32MX3XX or 4XX devices have up to two I2C interface modules 
denoted as I squared C1 and I squared C2. Each I squared C module has a two pin interface. The S clock pin is clock and the SDA pin is data. The I squared C module generates three interrupt signals slave interrupt, master interrupt, and bus collision interrupt. The PIC32 MX devices provides a complete range of programming and diagnostic features that can increase the flexibility of any application using them. These devices incorporate two programming and diagnostic modules and a trace controller that provides a range of functions to the application developer. The PIC microcontrollers are supported with a full range of hardware and software development tools. The MPLAB Integrated Development Environment or IDE software brings an ease of software development previously unseen in the 8 or 16-bit microcontroller market. The MPLAB IDE is a Windows operating system based application.